Hi, welcome back to NPA teaching. Today we are going to discuss the quotient rule of differentiation. The derivative of quotient of two function y is equal to u by v where u and v are differentiable function which is equal to denominator v times derivative of numerator u minus numerator u times derivative of denominator whole divided by the denominator squared. That means the quotient rule of differentiation says that if we have two function u and v both are differentiable function then the function y is equal to u by v then the derivative of this function dy by dx which is equal to then v into that means denominator v into the derivative of numerator u minus the numerator u into the derivative of denominator v whole divided by the denominator v square. This is the quotient rule of differentiation. We will consider some more examples so that you will be more clear about this rule. Consider the following function y is equal to 5x cube divided by 4x plus 3. Here we have two functions that is first function in the numerator that is 5x cube the denominator the second function that is 4x plus 3. So the derivative of this function that is d by dx is equal to the denominator function into derivative of the numerator minus numerator into derivative of the denominator whole divided by denominator squared. So dy dx is equal to new denominator 4x plus 3 into derivative d by dx of 5x cube minus 5x cube into d by dx of 4x plus 3 whole divided by denominator function that is 4x plus 3 squared which is equal to 4x plus 3 into the derivative of 5x cube which is equal to 15x square minus 5x cube into derivative of 4x plus 3 which is equal to 4 divided by 4x plus 3 squared. So which is equal to 4x into 5x square 15x square which is equal to 60x cube plus 3 into 15x square which is equal to 45x square minus 5x cube into 4 which is equal to 20x cube divided by 4x plus 3 squared. So which is equal to 60x cube minus 20x cube which is equal to 40x cube plus 45x square divided by 4x plus 3 squared. So here from the numerator 5x square is the common. So taking the 5x square in the outside which is equal to 5x square into 8x plus 9 divided by 5 4x plus 3 squared. So this is the derivative of the given function on the basis of a question rule. Consider another function y is equal to 5x square minus 9x plus 8 divided by x square plus 1. So here we have two function that is 5x square minus 9x plus 8 in the numerator and in the denominator which is x square plus 2 plus 1. By applying the quotient rule of differentiation the derivative of a given function d by dx is equal to the denominator into that is x square plus 1 into derivative of the numerator that is d by dx of 5x square minus 9x plus 8 minus the numerator into that is 5x square minus 9x plus 8 into d by dx of the denominator that is x square plus 1 whole divided by denominator x square plus 1 squared which is equal to x square plus 1 into derivative of 5x square minus 9x plus 8 is equal to 10x minus 9 minus 5x square minus 9x plus 8 into the derivative of x square plus 1 which is equal to 2x divided by x square plus 1 squared. So x square plus 1 into 10x minus 9 if you multiply these two functions then x square into 10x which is equal to 10x cube then 1 into 10x which is equal to plus 10x then x square minus 9 into minus 9 which is minus 9x square minus 1 into minus 9 which is equal to minus 9 
minus 5x square into 2x which is equal to 10x cube minus 9x into 2x which is minus 18x square plus 8 into 2x which is 16x whole divided by x square plus 1 squared. Now remove the brackets then it will become 10x cube plus 10x minus 9x square minus 9 minus into 10x cube which is minus 10x cube minus minus 18x square which will become plus 18x square then minus into plus 16x which will, which will become minus 16x whole divided by x square plus 1 squared. Here 10x cube minus 10x cube will be cancelled then minus 9x square plus 18x square it will become 9x square then plus 10x minus 16x will become minus 6x then remaining here it is minus 9 whole divided by x square plus 1 squared so the derivative of a given function is equal to the 9x square minus 6x minus 9 whole divided by x square plus 1 squared i hope you are clear about the quotient rule of differentiation I have explained here the each and every steps for the better understanding of the calculation. In practice, you do not have to write out each steps like this every time. Once you become the familiar with the rules, you can get the answer in few steps. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.